from the local station. News for Jax starts now. Right now at 5.30, a local family proud of their twin daughters graduating high school. But a nasty letter they received in the mail has turned the occasion sour. The Sproul family, they put up posters of their twins, Zana and Zara, in front of their Timber Creek Plantation home to celebrate their daughter's accomplishments. But yesterday they received an anonymous letter in the mail that has the family upset. It reads in part, it's time to take those hideous posters of that ugly, fat, black girl down off your house. What a disgrace to the neighborhood. In fact, your entire brood is a disgrace to the neighborhood. Consider moving to a hood of your kind. To even say anything negative like that about children is just heartless, in my opinion. The Sproul family says despite that hateful letter that they received, they say the love from the community has far outshined the negative message. News for Jack's reporter Maggie Lorenz live in the neighborhood with how the community Maggie is rallying behind this family. Tarek Joy, all day people have been stopping by. They've been waving, they've been honking their horns. Some have even dropped off cards. These are the two posters that are in front of the neighborhood. Zaina and Zara, they both graduated with honors and they're off to college now on multiple scholarships. They told me that they're just staying focused on the excitement of their future to move past the ugly things someone wrote in that letter. NHS, um, Beta Club, we were in the Vistar program. We worked at um, Vistar. National Honor Society members, section leaders in the marching band, straight-A students. And this is from, I got first place for my FBLA competition. Now off to St. Leo University on scholarships for pre-medical school. Who wouldn't be proud of these two accomplished young ladies? They have exceeded anything I could have ever imagine. They strive for the best. They don't really yeah. settle for, you know, they've, they've never settled for bees. Given the joy and celebration behind these posters, that's why David and Toya Sproul were so shocked to receive this letter in the mail. When I read it to her, she didn't even, she I thought, thought I was, was joking. Kidding, she didn't, he's a comedian. she didn't think I was serious. So I thought serious. it was a joke, like, no, but he's like, I wouldn't joke and say that about them like that. And I snatched the letter and I'm like, oh, and I call the police right away. In tune with the current tension in the nation, the Sprouse still never thought they'd see a product of that divisiveness in their own front yard. You see all the things happening all across the country. It's one thing when it's across the country, but it's absolutely something different when it's literally in your own yard, you're literally in your own house. The letter is unsigned and typed. And while the author implies his or herself lives in the Timber Creek neighborhood, the letter was mailed from Jacksonville. The Sprouls say the anonymity is cowardly, but while hurt and confused, today they say they're choosing to focus on the love they've received. It's been just an amazing outpouring, outpouring of just everyone's support. Like I said, neighbors have been stopping by just to say, you know, they stand with us. Stop by just to show our support as a neighborhood. You know, the, the actual things going on is, is complete garbage. Um, the letter that they received does not speak for this neighborhood at all. You know, we're a pretty positive neighborhood. We all come together for each other and I just wanted to show my support for them. We know we have like a great support system and everyone's on our side, so we'll get over it and find, get justice. The neighbor you just heard from, that's Rowdy Griffin, and he stopped by and said that he and his wife, they're in the process of making signs for the neighborhood for neighbors to put up in their, their yard to say that they support the family and they are Timber Creek strong. Now, the family says they do appreciate all the love and support they've received, but they still hope police can find whoever sent this letter. Reporting live, I'm Maggie Lorenz, Channel 4, the local station. Maggie, what have police told you about all this? So the parents, they reported it to the Nassau County Sheriff's Office, who is investigating this. They say that they would like to see police do more and that the family, they want to see this investigated as a hate crime. We reached out to the Sheriff's Office. We got the report that they filed, and right now they're investigating this as a threats and harassment incident. But the family says that they're going to keep working with the sheriff to try to figure out who may have sent them this letter. All right, we'll keep our viewers updated. Maggie Lorenz reporting live tonight. Maggie, thanks.